about the time of the release of GPT-4 Omni, not to be outdone, Google AI Studio released Gemini 1.5 Flash. It's supposed to be much faster than Gemini 1.5 Pro. And they also tout a 2 million token context window. This is the biggest context window that I have seen. But my initial thought was, why do we need a context window this large? In previous videos, I played around with GPT-4 Turbo's context window within ChatGPT. And I tried to see how long it could go in a conversation while still remembering parts from the beginning of it. In this video, I want to test something out. I want to see if Gemini 1.5 Pro can answer questions about a text that has a really large token context. Are these just numbers that all of these businesses are throwing around? Or are there actually use cases for long context windows? Okay, I'm going to click create a prompt. We open up Google AI Studio and I'm going to change it from Gemini 1.5 Flash to Gemini 1.5 Pro. I think the difference between these two models is just speed with a degraded performance for the Flash model. So you sacrifice performance for speed. Gemini 1.5 Pro and Gemini Flash have the same token count. So same context window within Google AI Studio. So I might as well use the latest model. And I want to see if it can answer a question about a really large text. Let's say I pasted in an entire novel, but we kept it within the token context window. Could it answer us a question very quickly about something in the middle of the text? To avoid copyright claims, I'm not going to paste an entire book into this input box. So let's just grab a bunch of Wikipedia articles and I'm going to hide some text in the middle of it. Okay, let's just click any article and start copying all the text, pasting it in. We're looking at that token count go up. I'm just going to keep clicking random article. This was a small one. I'm actually going to use a word pad because the input was kind of glitching with this much text. So I'll paste it in at the end. I'll keep clicking random article. Let's do it again. Paste it in. All right, long article. No, this is a short one. I guess this one's not terrible. Here, I'm clicking something that I know has a really long article. And we got one more article and pasting it in. Okay, in the middle of this text, I am going to write something. And I'm writing the name of my elephant is Harold. Now, based on the articles that I have copied and pasted into this document, I'm pretty sure nothing is about elephant. So I'm making the AI's job actually pretty easy. It needs a simple search. And if I go control F to find elephant, it's only shown once in the document. So this is a very simple task for the AI. Let's hope it gets it right. Okay, I'm copying all the text. We are going to Google AI Studio. I'm going to paste it in. We get a token count way below the limit. And I'm unsure of the best way to ask the AI a question about this text. So I'm going to try it in the system instructions. I'm going to write, what is my elephant's name? Now let's run this. And it's telling me right now, this text doesn't mention an elephant. So I can't tell you the name of your elephant. Now I notice I did it with Gemini Flash. It reset the model. Let's try this again with Gemini Pro. And it's saying the exact same thing. Look how slow the streaming is. I'm unsure if it's because of my computer or the browser, but if we're trying to compare Google's large language model to OpenAI's, OpenAI's is a lot faster. Just to make sure that the elephant text was copied, we have it right here. Let's run this same test within ChatGPT. Okay, I'm gonna go to Customize ChatGPT. I'm gonna write in the custom instructions, what is the name of the elephant? Let's click Save. I'm going to refresh the page. Let's paste that entire text in again, send it in. And it's telling me that this message was too long. So it looks like we have a difference in the context window between the two models, but it doesn't seem to matter because it can't answer me questions with that long context window anyways. Let's shorten this down a bit, see if it works. That is too long as well. I'm gonna move that text 
somewhere here. Let's go a bit down. Let's grab everything from here. All right, right to the top. Let's see if this works. All right, it still doesn't seem to be working. Let's hop into bubble so that we can use the API because their API is touting a 128,000 token context window. All right, here I am in bubble. I quickly made a new page. We have an input, a submit button, and then some text. Now I'm going to create a custom state on the page. Let's call it answer. The state type is text, gonna hit create. Then this text down here is going to be that state of the page. Okay, now when we click the submit button, we are going to go to plugins. I have OpenAI GPT. The model is going to be GPT-4 Omni. The system content message is going to be, what is the name of the elephant? And the content message is going to be multi-line inputs, value, and then formatted as JSON safe. When that's done, it's going to set the state of the page. We're going to set the state of that answer, result of step one, choices, first items, message content. Okay, let's test it out. Here's our page. I'm going to go into the text, grab all of this text, paste it in. Let's control F for elephant. There we go. It's in the text. Let's scroll all the way down and click submit. And again, there is no explicit mention of an elephant in the excerpts provided. So it's not good at picking out particular portions of the text. What is the point of these longer context windows? It's said that increasing the amount of text LLMs can process at one time, they enhance the model's ability to understand more comprehensive narratives and complex ideas, improving the overall quality and relevance of generated responses. So it's not good at finding particular portions but taking everything as a whole? To me, I'm having trouble understanding the point of a longer context window. I think the idea of it is pretty exciting. Let's say you had an entire knowledge base of articles. You would feed it all through the API, and then when users ask you questions through a chat bot, it could answer questions about your business based on that knowledge base. But if it can't answer specific questions, when this is within the text, how do we expect this to work without any manual input? This question was very easy to do. If I was a human customer agent taking this call, I would just control F, elephant, see that the elephant's name is Harold, and then answer the question. It takes me three seconds. But this powerful AI with a 128,000 token context window can't do a simple search within the text? That's very concerning to me. It's funny because I've had this exact problem when testing the assistance API. I was trying to create a newsletter GPT. So I uploaded a knowledge base of a bunch of sample newsletters from Morning Brew. And then I asked it to write me new newsletter text with the same style. And it doesn't look through the knowledge base even when you force it to look through the knowledge base, it doesn't output similar text. I think all of this is still at the infant stages. They're promising way more than they can deliver. I think a lot of people are blinded by the possibilities and they're not testing it for themselves. No doubt these models are very powerful, but I think what we can do with it is still very limited. If you want to create proven and tested AI agents, I built a web app called YourAIAgent.com. There's a lot of videos on this channel about some of the agent tasks. I'll drop a link in the description below. If you want to build your own AI apps using all the models discussed in this video, maybe create the next groundbreaking use case. Check out how to build a custom AI app. The Kajabi link will be in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Later.